Well, speaking of your wonderful professional wife, Brian Solomon, you guys are joined at the hip. No, what? He's a he's one of your proteges. You've taught him everything he knows. He works for you over at the Wrestling News. He works for Arcadian Vanguard. Of course, he's the news director for the Wrestling News, but he has learned plenty on his own. He has a long history in uh, magazines and he wrestling has a long journalism. History. He has a long history of making mistakes and learning from him. No, he's one of the, I actually think he's one of the best wrestling reporters, not even a reporter, but wrestling journalists out there. He gets his right. Well, that's true. And that's like being the nicest guy in prison these days. I'll tell you that. But no, Brian Solomon, I'm just, I'm joshing Brian. We love you and we care about you. And we hope that, you know, you get some good news from your parole officer. Is he but, sick too? What are we doing here? Um, no, get no, well no. soon. I don't even hear about this. No, I wouldn't say get well. I just said we love him and we care about him. And hopefully he'll get out of that that little mess he's got into on Long Island. Nevertheless. He's not in any mess. He doesn't even live in Long Island. Well, that's that's one of the problems. He, he needed to establish residency before you get one of those kind of licenses. But anyway, so Brian Solomon has done something, has uncovered a factoid, a piece of information that has heretofore, for the last, what, 35 years, been completely ignored in the wrestling industry and has changed. We've caught the WWE in a massive mistake that has spread, as far as I'm aware of, to pretty much every other uh, goddamn website or people who report on this type of thing. And he uncovered that the Honky Tonk Man's intercontinental title Reign, you know, when they've been talking about Roman Reigns champion for X number of days, and now they've made a big deal of that here in the modern era. Gunther's been champion for X number of days. If he goes so and so many more days, he'll beat the record of the Honky Tonk Man, blah, blah, blah. Honky Tonk Man, they had his number of days in his reign wrong all these years because they didn't count. 1988 for being a leap year. Did you you saw this reporting from the incomparable Brian Solomon, the the goddamn Edward R. Murrow of wrestling? I did see that, and uh, I believe he grew up not too far from Edward R. Murrow High School. But yeah, I did see that, and it was surprising that no one has picked up on this all these years. Well, yeah, it was just accepted, I guess, or I I would assume the WWE or F is the first ones who began publicizing this, right? But nevertheless, they they were a day short. They were, they, instead of being a day late and a dollar short, they were a day short, and according to Honky Tonk Man, several hundred thousand dollars short from what they should have paid him. But so then I'm going to ask you this question. Now with all of the, remember the video they did? Uh, what big landmark tape was it WrestleMania or when was it when Roman was going to break another record and they have the, the videos of all of the champions NWA WWE where the whipper Billy Watson X number a hundred days and all that. I remember the right? video. I don't remember the event. Okay. And here's another thing, not just the WWE, but whoever counts these things up, did anybody think of that? Does that mean that Bruno's first run is off two, da two days? Because he would have gone through two leap years, right? Does that mean Thez from 1948 to 1956? Has anybody figured that out? Or is that wrong? There'd be another two leap years at, at, at minimum. You might get, yeah. would you get three in there if you worked it just right? I don't know. Hulk Hogan said that because of leap years, he worked 500 times in a year. Oh, God damn it. That's only in Japan, where he, the, the, all the people are shorter. He was able to leap them easier. But yeah, so how does this fuck up what everybody's been talking about for all this time? Has, has Solomon opened a Pandora's box of mathematicians' nightmares? No. I mean, <laughs> I don't think it's that severe. I mean, uh, you know, it's an interesting fact. Well, goddamn, they're going to have to get one of these goddamn modern computers to figure all this shit out, aren't they? I guess so. Go ahead. I cut you off. What were you going to say? I, I cut myself off. I don't really oh, have too much to say. I mean, it's well, not going to change what's anything. Gonna happen, what's going to happen to Strangler Lewis's legacy? When did they start leap year? When did they get? When did they get so close with measure and time and? 
the time space continuum and however they figure that out up in the Greenwich Observatory where they could narrow it down to the nub that we got to have an extra day every four years or elsewise the Earth's going to spin off its axis and everybody's going to go to hell. Leap year uh, in 46 BCE, the Julian calendar introduced a leap day every four years. Well, but- now, just because no, just they had it doesn't mean that, that we've had it in the United States maybe since 1964 or whatever. So when did leap year start in this fucking country? The Gregorian calendar reformed the concept in 1582 by eliminating leap years in century years that weren't exactly divisible by 400. That doesn't tell me anything about the United States (laughs) of by God America, which is where George Hackenschmidt and Jim Londos and Strangler Lewis and Frank Gotch are waiting for their legacies to be ripped apart by this fucking loophole. I'm trying to see when it was introduced in uh, the United States. There are full, I mean, Wikipedia. Leap not... year. Yeah, I know what it is. Wikipedia has in a giant In the United thing. States. We, we, because they had daylight savings time. Wouldn't that be the same goddamn thing? They just brought that around in the roaring 20s or something, didn't they? When did they first need to start saving daylight? When they found out we were running out of it. Why don't you know the answers to these fucking questions, Once Brian? again, once again, here's an answer for you. By 1582 AD, that slight discrepancy in the Julian calendar added up to 10 days, so Pope Gregory the Eighth created the Gregorian calendar, coined the term leap year, and established February 29th as the official date to add to the leap year. All right, wait a minute. What, what did they do with those 10 days that they, they were off? They added, it- they, they added them to the calendar, it says here. Well, then what, all of a sudden, did we goddamn just, they didn't have fucking Thursday until then, and then, oh, we got to add a couple of days. No, well, did somebody, get, we should have got 10 days of vacation and then start even from scratch. Yeah, how come they haven't updated that at all since then? With all the weather changes and everything, maybe they should change the calendar again. Yeah, and our orbit could be different. Has any, is anybody checking this shit? Have they got a protractor out, seeing if this is still the right measurements? No wonder the weather's off. God damn it. Anyway, get, folks out there in the audience, get back to us on this if you know more than Brian Last does about when they finally ratified leap year in the United States so we can when they rip up it. all the all the <laughs> history books. They had to ratify so it. rip up the history books? What? Yeah, they're all wrong. They had to rip that shit up, ban them like they do all the other books in school about the shit they don't want to teach anymore. I've never heard, I mean, I never even thought about this idea or this topic before, but are you saying that you don't think leap year existed? Like, I mean, when you were born, there was a, there was leap years, right? Well, sound, I'm not that seen, old. It sounds like we've had leap year going back to the 1500s. No, we didn't have shit going back. I'm talking about here in the United States, around right. the world. There's a lot of knowledge, scientific knowledge, medical knowledge that existed in the world that other people weren't smart enough to pick up on for hundreds of years, right? But it sounds like they may so, have brought this over with them because I'm not seeing anything here about the U.S. not having leap who, years. Who brought it over with who? The Gregorians? The Pilgrims. Who did, who did they ever beat? The Pilgrims. And they who, left off the Mayflower and they... Well, I didn't know the Pilgrims were necessarily uh, uh, the Gregorians. Because it sounds different to me. Pilgrim, Gregorian. Sounds like you'd be doing two different fucking things. So... Every if four they years. agreed with the Gregorians, maybe that would be... But then again, the Pilgrims didn't establish the government. That was our founding fathers. They came like a hundred years after the fucking their fathers who founded the shit. What do you think of daylight savings? I'm in favor of saving some of it for a rainy day. But it... it actually, I, I haven't even changed the clock in my truck yet from this spring, where we spring ahead before we fall back. Because I'm hardly in the car anymore, so I didn't really want to go to the trouble. So now I'm just waiting because in another few weeks it'll be right again. 